Hi, George here. We're going to be making a new resource pack here inside of Minecraft 119. This will work for 119.3 and also 119.4. And we'll be making a different look here for this sandstone block. Okay, let's go over to the desktop and get to work on this. I'll be covering all steps of this process here inside this video. So make sure you don't skip any part of the video or you'll miss something very important. Okay, first off, you need to have a new folder on your hard drive. I just made one here on my C drive. I called it pack. And inside here, I have my own custom pack PNG file. Now you don't have to use a custom file. You can use the default one. I'll show you where to get that when we get to that point. But this is just a square image. It's 128 by 128 and it's a PNG file format. That's all that is. Now it's gonna be important for us to see the file extension. This is PNG part right down here. We'll need this for other parts of this process. So I'm in Windows 11 right now, go up to view, come down to show, and right here, make sure there's a check mark right next to file name extensions right there. Make sure that, that is checked. You'll then see the extension. Now, if you're in Windows 10, just as easy, just go up to the view tab, across the top up there, and over here someplace, it's going to say file name extensions. Just put a check next to that. Okay, we now need to have the right resource pack to do this in. I'm making this in 119.3, but this will also work in 119.4, exact same steps. So let's bring up the Minecraft launcher. There we go. And then go over here where it says installations and go to the latest release. Over here, a little folder icon, click on the folder icon. This brings up a new folder. And in here, come down to versions right here, open this up and then look for your current version. Right now, again, I'm in 119.3, which is right here. It's gonna be 119.4 real soon. But again, the exact same steps. If you're in 119.4, just look for the 119.4. Don't take anything with anything additional like that on the name. Just go for the one that's just clean. Now go inside of that. And in here, you're going to be seeing two files. You get this out of the way. There we are. A .jar file and a .json. So you need to see that extension to see those. If you just upgraded to 119.4 and you're only seeing one file in there, a 119.4 JSON, make sure you open the game at least one time to the title screen and it will then download the jar for you. Okay, so take the jar file, right drag it over here and copy, there it is. Now can I close this down? Now on this, type over the .jar like this and change that to .zip and choose yes. And that changes this into a zip file. It actually was a zip file already. It just had the .jar name on it. Now right click on this and I want to open this in a new window. There it is. Now the first thing on this first screen here if you want to use the default pack PNG file, let me show you where that is. It's in this list of files and it's right there, pack PNG. That's when that's the dirt block look to it. Okay, so if you wanna use this one, just right drag it over here and copy it into your working folder. Now go back to the beginning here and go inside of assets, then inside of Minecraft, come down here to textures, down at the bottom, go inside of textures, and then up here inside of block, right there. Now we want the sandstone block, so scroll down for that, and it's right here. Now there are three blocks for sandstone. There's the sandstone, the bottom of the sandstone, and the top of the sandstone, those three files. We're going to ignore the bottom and top for this video and work with just the one. If you wanna have it all nice and neat with all the sides colored, then you wanna do all three of these blocks just the same way that I'm doing this one block right here. Same thing, I'll right drag this over here and copy. There's the sandstone block right there. That's the sides of the block, which is what we need. And then look up here, we went into the assets, Minecraft textures and block. We need to remake this set of folders over here in our working folder. So I'll put this right here. I'll move this one just above like that. So we can see those. Go over to new, come down to folder. The first one is assets. Go inside of assets and new folder, which is Minecraft. Go inside that folder in the new folder, textures. There we go, I'll go inside of this and the new folder and block. And our new texture will be going inside of that folder as soon as we get to that point. Okay, now you can get rid of the zip file here if you want to, or I'd recommend just hanging on to this for later. In case you want to change other textures, it'll all be inside of that zip file. So now close that down. And the next thing we need is a pack MC meta file for this resource pack. And that's no longer included in the zip file it used to be, but no longer is. So I've put all those on my website. Let me bring that up. And this right here, I'll put this link in the description so you can get to this real easy. And simply scroll down here. And all you have to do is just download the one for your version. And this says 
pack format 12. Same thing for 119 Forest. As soon as 119 Forest is out, I'll just add that name up here. Exact same pack MC meta right there. So click on that. We're going to download this into our same working folder location and just choose save. And that's done. Okay, back over here again. And there that is. Let's just right click on this and open in new window. There we go. Then just take this pack MC meta, drag it over here. There you go. That's what you want. You can then get rid of this folder. We no longer need that. I'll just delete that one. We now need to just change the name of this inside. Now I always edit my pack MC meta inside of Notepad++. I'll put a download link for that in the description. So all you have to do is just find this file. Let me just show you that real fast. I'll open this up. And if this is the first time you've used this program, just go up to File and Open, and then navigate to your folder, choose that file, and open it up. Or if you want to, you can just take this file and drag it over here and drag it onto that. It will then open that up. Okay, so here we go. We're inside Notepad++. Leave the pack format alone. This is correct for 119.3 and also for 119.4. All we need to do is just to give it a new description up here, basically the name. I'll call it Custom Sandstone. And we'll save that. And that's now done. All we have left really is just to do the actual new sandstone. That's right over here. Now for this, I'll do a couple of things. First, I want to get a new texture, which will be combining with this texture to give it a much more realistic look. Let me bring up a web page for that. And that's right here. This is Pixabay. And it's my favorite place to find free images that you can download. I just did a search here for sandstone texture. And I was looking at photos right there. And in here, come all the way down. And there are just two pages of these. Now scroll down. The one I like is this one right at the very end. And I'll put a link right to this page. Click on that. It takes you to that page. Here it is. And then just download this. It's a free download. And if you haven't signed up for Pixabay, you just get one of those CAPTCHA things pop up to authenticate the download. If you've logged in, then you can just download directly. Now it's free to join. The join button is right up here. No cost to that. So go free download. You want the smallest one that they have here is 640 by 427, which is way too big for us, but it will work out fine for what I want to do. Choose download. Download this in your same location. Choose save and we're all set. Okay. Now we're going to be using the online Pixlr photo editor, which is great for this kind of project. It's a very powerful, free online photo editor. You can sign up and log in if you want to. You also can do a premium over here with even more tools. We're not going to bother with that. We just want to use just a free editor. And that's over here, Advanced Photo Editor, right there where it says Start Photo Editing. Click on that and then open Image right here and then open up that Sandstone PNG and choose Open. There it is. Now these are real small files. It's only 16 by 16 square. I'll grab the Zoom tool. Let's just zoom in, get it a bit larger here so you can see this better. I'm going to do a couple of things with this. First thing I want to do is just to make the size bigger so you have more detail. This is real small. I want just a little bit more detail, not too much. I don't want photorealistic because then it won't match everything else in the game, but a bit more detail will look really nice. So let's go up here to page, come down to smart resize. And in here, here's your width and your height. Right now it's 16 by 16. I'm going to change this so that it's 32 by 32. Just double that number. Lock proportions. You want to turn smoothing off and choose avoid stretching. So smoothing is off and avoid stretching is on. That will keep the hard edges in here. If you leave that at its defaults, it's going to blur things out and you don't want that. You want those hard edges. Okay, choose OK or apply. And there we go. It's now a bigger image. And this will then give us a lot more detail. And there's a little bit missing right down here, bottom right hand corner. We can fix that. I'll just zoom in on that. Grab our zoom tool again here. And then grab the eyedropper tool right there and just choose a color out of here. I'll just choose this kind of a light tan color right there. Here comes our foreground color. Go up here to the paintbrush and let's change the size here. You want to bring this all the way down to just a one. It's that one right there. Just a one pixel. It'll be hard edge. It says softness 2%, but it's going to be hard edge. And then come down here and just click into those two spots and that fills that in. That's fixed. Now we need to bring in our new image. Go over here, click on the plus sign button here and choose image and then choose the new image. That's this one right there. Again, this is way too big, but that's fine for what I want to do. Choose open and it just puts that on top and it's just kind of a large bit here. Notice how the squares are now half the size. That's our increased detail. What you want to do is just find something that has some nice color variation in here. You don't want to have it 
really obvious like that. I just want to have some nice color variations. This looks pretty good. And here you just kind of move it around until you find something that kind of like that's kind of nice. Let's see what else we have in here. You can, you can see the line in there where there's some brick lines. Now I know at the top we have some other brick lines in our existing file. So I'm going to put that at the top like that. So it's kind of a color change in here. This will look really good. And there we go. So you have a bit of this banding happening in there. And it's just colors on top. Now we need to blend this layer into the original background. And that's this three dots right here where it says settings. We're in blend mode. Click on that and come down to multiply. And that multiplies those two together. And then on opacity, bring the opacity back a little bit. Maybe to about 86, 85 in here somewhere. It just shows a bit more of the original texture through that and lightens it up just a little bit. And this is going to look great in the game. And then close that down. Let's now download this file. Come down here. The download button is right here. It says save. Click on that. And here you want to save to the PNG file format. It doesn't matter if transparency is on or not. We're not using it. Come down to save as. And here make sure you're in the right location. It just dropped in the right location for me already. So I'm in the pack folder here. And then assets, Minecraft, textures, block. Right there. That's where it should be. It should say sandstone PNG, which it does. So we're all set. Choose save. That's going to close that out. Now you can get three saves a day. So you can do three textures a day if you haven't upgraded your account to a paid account. Now paid accounts are cheap. Over here you can see down here it's as low as 75 cents per month. I mean it's it's like $10 a year for this thing. Really, really cheap. You can also use it for first 30 days for free. So this is one of those great tools I recommend grabbing. Okay, that's done. Let's now go back over here. Let's double check that, go into the assets, Minecraft, textures. We can see it already. There it is, inside block, we're all set. We can now build the resource pack. All you have to do is just grab this assets folder, hold the control key down, grab your pack MC meta and grab your pack PNG file, right click and come down to compress to zip file and then give it a name. And I'll call it sandstone.zip right there. Now if you're on Windows 10, just go up to the share button up here on your top tab and choose zip. Same exact thing. Okay, we can now put this into the game. And for that, let's bring the launcher back up again. Also make sure you don't have Minecraft running. And here, go to latest release, click on that folder icon right here. And this time we're gonna come down to resource packs right down there, open this up. And we'll copy our new file into this folder. I'll just put this right here, get this out of the way, bring this up and then I'll just right drag just like that and copy. There we go. It's now inside the game and ready to be activated. Get these out of the way. Let's now go back to the launcher and click on play. And we'll load in Minecraft and then activate that texture and make sure everything is working correctly. Here we go. I have a custom title screen in here. If you want to find out how I did this, I'll put the links for those videos in the description. Let's come down to options and resource packs. And then left hand side, let's find our new pack. Here it is, sandstone.zip. Click on the arrow, brings it over here, right hand side. That's done. It then loads in that resource pack. Choose done again. And we're all set to play the game. Click on single player. Here's my main world right there. If you want to do more than one texture, just put all of your textures into the same resource pack, and it's going to work out great. Here we are back in the game. Let's take a look at our temple. And there it is. There's our brand new texture. That's our block right there. Notice so we only did the sides. We didn't do the top or the bottom. That's fine. It still looks great in the game. And there you go. That's how to make a custom resource pack and also change textures inside of Minecraft. And this is version 119.3 and this also works on version 119.4. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you also subscribe. I do new videos all the time for Minecraft. You don't want to miss out on any of those. And I'll see you next time.